Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Buff Geek here, joined by... What up guys, it's David here, I'm back again. And if you're not quite sure what I was doing there, you want to check out the previous episode, which is our Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 7 review. That's the one, yep. The With... Dragon and the Wolf. That's it. Yep. So many that, 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 that explains where the noise was. Yeah, well, not really. Oh, it does. You explain what the noise is. Before you start doing that. So if you go and listen to it, you'll find out why he's doing that. <laughs> you want to. Stay all the way to the end. It's funny shit, man. It's funny shit. <laughs> I <just laughs> hope it is. Because it had us killing ourselves listening. Back. We were dying. <laughs> so hopefully more people than just us find our banter funny. Or it could be that doom we- for us. Well, it could just sound creepy and rapey and... Oh, the other dwarfs you get, yeah. Yeah, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Grumpy and... (coughs) Dumpy and gropey. Pervy and the whole thing. So, (coughs) we're going to do a little bit of movie news today. Yeah. I've not actually researched it that that, um, deeply, but there's a couple of things that pop off to me. Um, You have written an article recently. Yeah, I had a little bit of a rant. And, And it's on a website and... You've, you've really went pretty in-depth on a few things, and it, do you know what? I could actually taste the anger. <laughs> and the article is on the thebuffgeekpodcastblog.wordpress.com. Yep. What was the article titled? <clears throat> what the hell is happening with DC Warner? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so would you like to, I don't know, v- um, voice your opinion on the situation right now? I did. <laughs> it's it's just basically what right I'm, right right now. I, I feel like the the what I wrote is just what we've been kind of getting to, in all our podcasts is just what the hell is going on. You've got every piece of news that comes out of there is negative, almost. So even when you've got the positivity of Wonder Woman and the general success of Wonder Woman, don't the mints make you shit. Sorry. Make me shit. Am I not good? Like, <laughs> <laughs> is this why you're getting shit because you're eating mints? No, do they not make you? Do they, do they not make you either? Yeah, they're, they're, either it, constipated or make you get diarrhea. I'm sure excessive consumption <coughs> may have a laxative effect. Well, you you will tan two hundred and fifty grams worth of mints in a night. No. I won't. There's no way I'm tanning 250. You have done before. Nah, not a chance. Because I would be. I'd be. I'd be farting liquid. It'd be horrible. White liquid. That's yeah, something it'd else. Be, though. It'd be minty liquid. It'd be the freshest smelling shits ever. <laughs> <laughs> you get something for that now. VI poo. Is that what it's called? No, that's for you, you spray it in the toilet. It floats on the surface of the water and traps all your odors so the odors don't come back out the water. Really? Yes. No, you're making fun of me. I'm not, I'm not. It's, That's a thing. There's actually quite a sort of funny advert about it online, I don't know, uh, online on TV. Um, and it is, it's a spray, it's for, you know, if you go to a public restaurant or whatever, a public restroom, you don't want people coming in after you to smell your turd. You spray this down first, drop one in, the smell gets trapped, flush it away, job done. That's so cool and really <laughs> considerate. <laughs> Will you carry that in your purse then, or your handbag? Uh, I carry it in my purse. You carry your purse? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but I could carry it in my, my, my satchel. I like to call it satchel. It's really a handbag. <laughs> Indiana Jones has one. <laughs> exactly. I'm glad you got it. We watch movies, folks. <laughs> so, yeah, you were, you were saying, you think there's only negative things coming out of the DCU. Uh, it seems to just be constantly. So, I mean, you've got... You're hitting the thing. You're hitting this, the mic, you motherfucker. Uh, Apologise to the people. Sorry, you Mike. You just blown their fucking eardrums. <laughs> I don't think I have. But um, scratching sound. <laughs> so it's just constant, and you've got the whole Ben Affleck thing alone is just a news roller coaster. I don't know what how to describe it. It's just clusterfuck of news constantly. Yeah. He is, he isn't. So what happened? They brought him in, and they're like, "Yeah, we've got Ben Affleck as our Batman now," and everyone was like, "All right, okay." But they're like, yeah, yeah, Ben, Ben's amazing, he's an A-lister, we've got him, we're bringing him in. And then he was supposed to be, he was Batman in Batman versus Superman. And then everyone loved him, 
And I always thought he'd do. I thought he'd be great. He was. He most was, people thought he'd be shit. He was one of the better features of that film. He's he's really good. Come on. Yeah. He, no. No. He's possibly the best Batman. Played by an. In a live uh, I see where you're going there because then. I knew what you were going to bring up on me there, Kevin Conroy. And yeah, how great he is as a Batman. And um, so you've got that, and then after that, it was like riding the crest of the wave. We're going to produce a Batman standalone film, which let's be honest, they should have fucking done first. Superman got his standalone film. <clears throat> yeah, Wonder Woman got hers after the ensemble piece when she should have got it before the ensemble piece. They Why should... do they need to do it beforehand? I like the fact that they did it. You just need a more of an attachment to the character before you get into it. See, I disagree because <clears throat> pretty much everyone said that Ben Affleck was the best thing about that film. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, based on the fact that they think he's the best thing about the film, they thought he was fantastic, etc., 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 surely people had become attached to him from that film. And even though the film was divisive, the people are, the people love him. Yeah, but no, no. Saying he's the best thing about that film doesn't necessarily mean he's good or even positive. Okay, okay. <laughs> that, that was the that was the <laughs> he's, wrong. He's the lesser shit part. No, that of... was the wrong thing for me to say because <laughs> because people have actually said, generally speaking, that he was fantastic as the Batman and he might be the best Batman ever. Mm-hmm. So, so it's not he, he's not the best thing about the film. And I, I on a side note. I think the film is really fucking good. We Still know. better than Wonder Woman. <laughs> we know. Oh, well, I've not seen it, so I can't comment. Well, but so then you had the Batman going to be produced, and that was going to be Affleck's project. He was going to write it, he was going to direct it, and obviously star in it as well. And then you know he had his his whole personal issues that they did keep quiet for a while while it was ongoing. They handled um, the alcoholism really well. And then he stepped down from directing the film to still writing it. And still starring in it. So he's still written in crayon, I'm Batman a hundred times, and people are still saying there's a script. You know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. And then, eventually, Matt Reeves steps in as the new director. <laughs> and yellow, and green. Um, and Affleck is just now just starring in the film. Everything. So he's basically stepped back from it being his project, his baby, to being starring in only, which is still brilliant. I'd love to see him <sighs> starring in Batman as Batman. I'd probably be laughed out of any room I said it in. <laughs> be like, Batman, uh, Nightwing or Robin, maybe short arse. But even Nightwing's tall, he's just lean. You do make a good Robin. Tweet, tweet. Um, Red Robin, though, right? And then, yeah, well, uh, Damien Wayne, probably, because I've got the height. <laughs> maybe Tim Drake I might get Red Robin yeah. um, and then we're suddenly getting the headline last week of Ben Affleck being replaced as Batman so but is that true though? well this is the thing it's not and it is and it's not and it is so what let me get this right what Matt Reeves had said was that the Batman wasn't going to be part of the DCEU what he later backtracked and said was what I mean is we won't be having other elements of the DCEU Coming into this film, it will be just about Batman, if that makes sense. Which is a weird backtrack to make. It's not like he's he doesn't understand how a franchise works. I mean, he's worked on Apes, so it's not like he can just make a wee faux pas and be like, "Oh, I've never done a franchise." You make film him before. sound like a vet. <laughs> he's worked on Apes. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so that is a little bit weird. Mm-hmm. I'll give you that. So then, other things start coming out. You've got Casey Affleck saying, you know, I thought he was an okay Batman, no, he was great, he was great, blah, 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 blah. Um, I but, thought he but, was an okay Batman, surely that's past tense. Uh, he, yeah, he, and he was taking the piss as well. He was talking mm. about Batman versus Superman. Yeah, he I know. Says, but... I thought he was an okay Batman. But then what he's saying is, but he's not going to do that movie talking about the Batman. I don't think. Sorry to say. Um, however, that weekend was San Diego Comic Con, and Affleck assured fans that he would continue to be Batman. As he was promoting Justice League. Sorry, folks. That's me this time. Then, news of a Joker origin movie has been announced. But it's not going to be set in the same universe as The Suicide Squad, Batman vs Superman. And simultaneously, 
Gotham City Sirens project has been dropped. They're, they're not doing the Sirens film anymore. Instead, they're doing a Joker Harley Quinn movie at the same time as they're doing a Joker origin movie. How fucking, like... So you've got Jared Leto Joker, and then you've got me like, as the Joker in the new film. might not even be Jared film. Leto. You know, it could be... Who knows who it could be? Well, it's got to be... Well, if they're doing Harley Quinn and Joker, surely that's going to be the Harley Quinn and Jared Leto. You would like to think, but you know what? I wouldn't put anything past DC at the moment. It's probably going to be Baby Joker and Baby Harley Quinn take over the nursery. Well, just on a side note, <clears throat> news dropped today, just before you came in. You said this, yeah. That Suicide Squad 2 is now being pushed back. Oh, has to it? 2019 at the earliest. Right, okay. <clears throat> and the world went, okay. So it might not be something to care about that much, because I, I was <coughs> not impressed with Suicide Squad in any but shape or form. why is it being pushed back? Why has it been pushed back? Well, apparently the Joker Harley Quinn movie has been given a fast track. It, it's getting fast tracked through. So that'll be why. But originally, that was being fast tracked through. What, Suicide Squad 2? Yeah, the reason yeah, yeah. the reason they're not doing that now, allegedly, is because of Will Smith's commitments to Aladdin and uh, something else. But it just makes me think that DC are creating a separate universe so that they can forget about this one. That's how it feels. Time. That that's my that's basically the sort of the crux of my article, is that I feel that they're just trying to get, they're they're just trying to set themselves up with the get out of jail free card mm-hmm. and say, look, you know what, Justice League's fallen on its arse. Let's just abandon ship. We've still got films churning out. We're still going to make money on average. The DCEU films are grossing and profiting about the same as a. MCU movie on average are they actually yeah yeah they're, they're pretty close like um, yeah they don't get the same love no because that's on average your DC top earner is it matching a MCU Avengers no it's not no, no. <clears throat> and as much as everyone's been going on about Wonder Woman being amazing etc 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 and you know the the female director is the best thing ever and you want to get more female yeah. directors and blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> Let's not let's not confuse things here. Wonder Woman was really good, but it was really good because it wasn't shit, <laughs> right? Wonder Woman. People are talking about how it's, it's it's such an amazing thing, this film. But Spider Man Homecoming was at least five times better than it, Spider-Man and I really Wonder like awesome. Wonder Woman, right? Mm-hmm. But the only reason it's getting so much buzz is because it's kind of like the participation trophy. It's like there's a different. It's in a different league. It's like, it's really good. It's a great movie to be led by a woman. Yeah. It's a great movie to be directed by a woman. Mm-hmm. So, and it pisses me off when they keep going on about that. Because, can it just be a good movie? So if you just take it as a, as a good movie, and not put the, it's the best movie ever directed by a woman, or has made the most money ever directed by, you know, whatever kind of long, convoluted title that is. Yeah. If you actually put it in the context of other films, it's not actually that successful or that good. I no, mean, I, 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 I liked it a lot, and I even said this at the time mm-hmm. when I watched it. <laughs> Just a, a side note here is that one of the theatres that did an all-female screening for Wonder Woman mm-hmm. got sued. Did they? Yeah, big style. For fuck's because, sake. honestly, what the fuck is that bullshit? People are just looking for reasons to be offended. But it should be... No, they should I'm have been I'm just glad sued. those people don't listen to our podcasts. <laughs> 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 No, th- that theatre shouldn't have been allowed to do that. An all women. An it's, only... it's not different to having ladies' night or ladies' day at a race course. Or but guys just, can still go. It's just a bit of fun. No, but guys were literally not allowed in. Yeah, so that's bullshit. Because if you had, if you reverse it, this is why it's bullshit. If you reverse something and you go, well, you can't have that, then you shouldn't be able to have the alternate. And we're going to come to that in the topic that we deal with later. <laughs> <laughs> when I, I just, go at one, I just think people can't. People should just let it be, you know, ladies night, okay, fine. I'm not going to fucking sue for it, but then I'm not American. And the American culture is a lot easier to sue for things. It's coming over here, we're getting a lot more of it. Oh, it's unbelievable. But we've got more of a complaints culture than a suing culture at the moment. We've got a piss and moan culture. Yeah, we're, we're working towards the suing, but people are still trying to get things for nothing through a complaints process rather than just going straight up suing mm. it's a complaint that's all it should be it's a complaint not a suing yeah I'm not saying that what financial loss or what kind of loss did this person get from 
not being allowed in that theatre. They say you tell me there was some kind of emotional turmoil from being told weeks in advance we're having a ladies only showing. I think it was prior to the to the official release. That's bullshit, man. I'm not saying they should be able to sue for it, but I still think it's bullshit. If I heard that they had one rumor on and I turned up and they're like, I can't come in, you're a dude. I, they wouldn't they wouldn't be allowed to do that if it was a guy. If it was a guy's film and they said no women, can you imagine the outrage? See, there's two different sets of rules, and that's what I don't. Like. I think women would be sl- would be more accepting of it though. I don't think they would sue. Bullshit! Have you seen the? Have you seen Twitter? Have you seen the sort of crap that feminists are coming out with right now? <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> We're stoking a different fire here. So yeah. anyway, that's my thoughts on DC, and I think that they they are just working towards the get out of jail free card on that one. Okay, I'm gonna do a bit of a flip side on you for this, right? So mm-hmm. I was reading your article, and I was like, yeah, 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 I'm down with that. I can see, I can see your points. I can see the fact that, you know. A lot of news comes out from the DC camp, and it's messy. Mm-hmm. It's 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 not from a single source. Yeah, it's it, not like it's... we're doing this and they do that. Mm-hmm. It's we're doing this thing. Oh, well, actually, that's not what we meant. We're changing this thing here, and we're, they've got you we're going to reword how we said it and fif- backtrack. They've got fifteen films on the slate. Have they? Oh, I, I don't know. All oh, right, right, but let, let, let's count them like, out, Jesus shall we? Jesus Christ! Let's count them out. Justice League to come out. Yep. Which is now another piece of movie news that dropped. Now, Joss Whedon is getting the director's credit for it because he's written 51% or more. I According believe. to... No, he's getting a writer's credit. Writer's credit, Zack sorry. Zack Snyder is still being listed as director for the film. That's what I meant to say. I don't think they'll change that given the circumstances for him leaving. I don't think they'll change saying he's the they director. They probably won't change it, but they might come up with a new name for Joss Whedon. What, like Sir Joss Whedon? Or... No, but a new title <laughs> for the film. Master Joss Whedon. Mastered by Joss Whedon. Mm, I don't know. There'll be, but he is, he's a writer. They might call him like the reshooter. They'll call him something. That sounds like a really shit super villain. The reshooter. The reshooter. No, Damn it, I missed. Give me that bullet back. No, it sounds like a 50-something former 80s heartthrob star <laughs> doing a comeback like Taken. Mm. The reshooter starring Kevin Costner. Not just a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> well, check it out, right? You've got Dracarys. Just- Dracarys. You've got Justice League. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've got a Flash film. Yeah. You've got Agman. It's definitely happening. Mm-hmm. You've got Gotham City, City Sirens, which is gone. it's dropped now, but it was on just two days ago or three days ago. Or yeah, whatever. it's gone. You when I was writing this, it was gone. Catwoman, I believe. All right. You've got. You had a Batman film of multiples of. Mm-hmm. You had a Joker film. You had a Joker Harlequin film. A Suicide Squad. Um, Black Adam. Well, Shazam. And then it was like, well, Black Adam's going to be separate from Shazam. Mm-hmm. And then it was Shazam and Black Adam together. So that's already 11, I'm counting, by the way. Wonder Woman 2. Have you included the Joker Origins as well? No. So there's the Joker Origins as well. Is that is a third Joker? No, that's the that's second Joker film. So you've got the Joker Origins. Oh, right, yeah, yeah no, I've included that, yeah. that. So we're like 12 films, and I'm sure I've missed out. Yeah, yeah, Batgirl. There's Batgirl, because Joss Whedon was going to do Batgirl. Right. That's 13. So you got all of that, and people are like... Unlucky. That's, that's, you know, crazy, that's messy, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They're releasing too much information... You've got all the problems with Ben Affleck. Is he Batman? Is he not Batman? Is he director? Is he not director? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I, I, I dig all that. But I think they're over-promising. <clears throat> they're over-promising, but I think they've got so many properties, so many... At the end of the day, DC still has... They've got the Trinity. They've got the Batman, the Superman, and the Wonder Woman, and they've got the Justice League, which is always bigger than Avengers. Originally, right? Mm-hmm. So they're going to get asked all the time, Different when's this coming though. out? Yeah. When's this coming out? When's the Batman stuff coming out? When's this coming out? And I feel like their PR team is doing it wrong. They're saying, oh, we've heard they've got a small nugget. They're giving out the wrong information. They need to tighten the reins on that. Mm -hmm. However, I kind of like the fact that they're going to have two different universes. And I don't see why comic book fans are saying it's going to be really confusing because how many Elseworld different versions of fucking Batman have you got? You've got got the Bruce Wayne Batman. You've got Batman Beyond. You've got... um, uh, oh fucking hell! This is what's his dad called? Thomas Wayne. Thomas Wayne, Batman. Mm-hmm. Um, 
that's three I can can name right now. You've you've, you've got, also got all the successors, you know, the battle for the cowl, things like that as well. Um, we got Azrael Batman. Mm-hmm. You've got which is probably is, is I don't know if, I don't even know if Azrael Batman is part of re- because there's, there's there's the regular Batman continuity. Obviously, you've got Injustice Batman. Mm-hmm. You've got Batman Inc. Basically, which is Batman Incorporated. Tons of different Batmans across the globe. Oh really? Yeah. Right, so that's six we've mentioned, plus all the kind of one shoots and off shoots mm-hmm. and whatever. <clears throat> so if comic book fans can understand all that, what vampire Batman from Gods and Monsters? Oh as yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the big deal with having like okay, we've got another Batman who's played by uh, Charlie Hunnam. <laughs> you mentioned him this time. <laughs> I did it for you. I did it for the Thanks, rock. <laughs> um, and you've got Jared Le- Leto Joker. Mm-hmm. And then you've got the other Joker film where Jack Nicholson makes like a cameo appearance in because I read recently that the officially the new name the the, the the Joker's real name is Jack Napier, right? Which is only his name in the films, mm-hmm. but that's for Joker White or something like that, where he realizes that he's actually the hero All and right. Batman's the villain, and I've he tries lost to track of DC stuff at the moment. It, it was it was kind of messy, but apparently that's the Joker's actual name currently is what they're going with. Mm-hmm. And then the next day, I read that they've got this Joker or- Joker origin story. So okay, you've got two Jokers in films. As long as you don't release the films the same year, see, it's fine for I us. I don't know if that if it's that difficult. Fine for us because we understand different continuities, different timelines. For a non comic reader who's just wanting a good comic book movie. And there's lots of them out there who are like, oh, I'm a big Marvel fan, I've seen all the films. How many you read? Don't read. You know, I think there's a lot of that. They're, I agree with they're you. They're not going to understand the concept of... How would you like it if there was Star Wars and you had, like, well, it's maybe slightly different, but Luke Skywalker was played by Mark Hamill in episode four, and at the same time, Luke Skywalker was played by... Oh, Karen Egrington. At the same time, he'd have been swimming in his dad's nuts. But I know what you mean. You know, it's just, it's different when, like, the franchise is split and you've got Star Wars and you've got two Star Wars movies going at the same time and the same characters are in it, but they're not played by the same people. It, it's <coughs> fucking confusing. It's, I think it's different. I think it's different when it comes to comic books. And I get what you it mean. For the general movie goer, they're like, what Spider-Man is this? Who, what's, how is this connected? They're not going to understand. They didn't, they didn't understand that. However, enough people still went to see the Spider Man, mm-hmm. right? So it was still profitable. It should have made way more money, but it was still profitable, okay? But the people that have complained about it, I'm, I'm talking about, are commentators and pundits similar to us. Mm-hmm. And none of them have really said Elseworlds, Elseworlds guy. Like, I. I yeah. It's... I don't think it would be that big a problem, especially if you made it. If you made it obviously set in a different place. See, I've still got a problem with Ezra Miller being the Flash. Really? Yeah. Just because CW have been working for years with Grant Gustin as the Flash as Barry Allen. Uh, he's a TV universe guy. Yeah, I know, and I you wish can't, you can't do you can't have the TV universe guy come into the real universe because they don't they've not they've not spent the money on the TV show and you've got all that TV show stuff you've got to incorporate as well. Marvel I think it's perfectly it. fine. Yeah, but I don't think they should. Oh, I think they should. I don't think the defenders. I think the defenders or Agents of Shield or whoever, when they appear, like Peggy Carter, she's done it because she had her own TV series which got axed. Um, but when they appear yes, in but... Infinity War, the pop will be awesome. For me, anyway. I'll be like, yeah, yeah. Just for Daredevil, the rest can suck a dick. <laughs> nice, but it'll be a good pop, mm-hmm. right? But I think it makes it. Too messy, too complicated. Then you've got the, the then everything that happens in that TV show, like those TV shows, I half like and half don't. Mm-hmm. And then you've got these movies that are fucking amazing. And then you've got that involved in it. I think it's a bad idea to have the, the TV shows to be connected to the universe. I think it's better if the TV shows were standalone. Mm, no, I, I don't know. I I think it's a bit. The thing is, mm. CW have always had superhero shows that have been successful. Mm-hmm. Whereas, the fact there's always been a Superman on TV, I think, at one point or another, Between up until now. 
between Lois and Clark and Smallville. Small, and Lois and Clark, there is a Smallville. Superman at the moment. Well, I know, but he's in Supergirl, isn't yeah. he? So he's not got his own show, technically, no. but he, he probably will have, right? Mm-hmm. And there's there's quite often been a Batman on TV. Yes. So they've always had that, but Marvel's never really had their TV char- their characters on TV. Have they? Defenders? No, well, uh, like yeah, all your cartoons... Well, the cartoons, yeah, but they've never been on TV like every week or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. So, I, I, I just don't think it's... So I can see why the CW would have... They've got their, their TV universe and they've got the movie universe. I like it separate. Nah, I don't. I think it's... And fuck the Flash from TV because I watched the first couple of episodes and it was shit. No, it, it gets good. I need to go back and watch it. I'm halfway through the season two. I think it was two. awful. It was, like, it was just like a regular American fair acting like American TV show I think it was really poor mm. it was like low standard and the special the th- thing is when you bring the special effects into it and then you go to the movie and the special effects look amazing and then you come back to the TV show and the special effects are shit the fight scenes are kind of hit and miss like in Defenders you know I think Flash's outfit in the Justice League promos looks shit the kind of robo- like armour and stuff like that there's no way like mechanic well not mechanical but there's no way a suit like that could keep up with his physical movements no way. It's all based on hinges and physics and angles and stuff. There's no way a suit would manage to keep up with them in the same way that skin tight whatever would. Sorry, I was. This is there. this is like the the discussion we had about how I was saying I agreed with the people that were talking to Steve about having the holes in the dragon's wings and that wouldn't be aerodynamical because <laughs> you're you're talking about like. I could easily say, oh, well, he's got fucking superpowers, guy. You know that, you know? But yeah, he should but just... But it matters. But these things matter. Shorts. Yeah. These things matter, like what kind of outfit they're wearing. And I actually agree with you. Mm-hmm. I think his outfit's weird. Yeah. It's like an Injustice. No. It's like the Injustice outfit. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, but no, it was um, DC Legends. If you upgrade Superman to legendary status, he has armour. And you're like, why the fuck does Superman need the armour? That's just going to cost money to replace when he is the armor, you know. <laughs> Unless it's crypt- like armor against kryptonite, but still. Anyway, so that that was my rant about DC. That was where we were going with that. And I don't think it's that bad because I think that worst case scenario they can do a reset and they move on to the next universe because it seems like the new universe they're making, which is separate from this one, they're doing the, you know, this is the origin story of the Joker. This is the origin story of the Batman. This is the origin story for this thing. And they're kind of set up a new universe. So maybe they have like a... So it comes back to the point earlier of trying to walk before you run. They did Setting up your origin stories and then getting your ensemble pieces together. They have done that. And I think, I think the execs have taken a little bit too much cocaine in the meetings. Got a little bit too excited. You know, blown... Had too many hookers there. Taking the cocaine off the ass. Whatever. And they're all excited. Oh. oh. Ah, yes. Well, you do have that written there. Do you want to read the title? Which part? Whoever works in DC Warner's marketing team needs fired, or whoever works in DC Warner's strategy team needs fired? Well, you want to distinguish what what, what um, marketing and strategy, the difference between the two? Well, the marketing one is controlling the messages that are getting out to the world. Mm-hmm. And then the strategy team are talking about having so, like see, uh, simultaneous Joker movies running at the same time and uh, not going to be in this universe, but this is going to be in this universe, and all that sort of stuff. They're, they're, it feels like they're planning they're ahead. They're spinning an awful lot of plates. It feels like they're on AD, they've got ADHD. And they're like... Do you know what I actually feel? It feels like, for me, how my brain works. <laughs> it is. It's a scatterbrained approach to it. It's like, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. While we're doing that, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're going to do this. This will be amazing. Yeah. Oh, we were going to do Joker. Well, we can do Joker at the same time. It's fine. Let's do all... Let's all do Joker. Joker's for everyone. Yeah, four Joker movies out at once. You know, screen one, two, three, and five. Because the other one was a bit shit. So it's, <laughs> it's further down the list. And then Batman versus Superman 3's in screen seven. Because nobody gives a shit. So check it out. Fuck you. Check it out, right? <laughs> Fucking great reactions. If um, if 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 it's all true, right, and regardless of what you think of it, who do you cast as the new Harlequin? Just say they recast Harlequin and Joker as separate. Who do you cast as the new Joker? Who do you cast as the other Joker? Who do you cast as the new Batman? I don't know. I'd have to audition people and see what they were like. Just. <laughs> work with me here man work with me make it easy 
Hmm. Who do you, you look at and just think, do you know what, that would work? Obviously, you don't know anything about the script. You don't know nothing about nothing. And I want you guys at home to do it too. And let us know your ideas. Or It's like getting a, a do-over. Like, who could be the Batman? Mm-hmm. Obviously, Warner like Army Hammer. Maybe he's going to be the Green Lantern. Maybe he's Batman. Do you think... Uh, Maybe he's Nightwing. You and Rion from Game of Thrones could be a Joker. Ramsay Bolton... I don't know, it's just an idea. I imagine he could be quite fucking nutty. That ain't half bad. David Tennant as the Joker. That would suit with the 80s gangster vibe. Who, David Tennant? Yeah. He would be pretty fucking good as the Joker, actually, I think. Um, you close enough to the mic? I don't know. What other non-American actors could be? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What about... The guy that plays Euron Greyjoy. Right, okay. As Batman. Nah. Nah? Nah. Too much charisma. Too much charisma? Yeah, Batman's fucking stoic. He's like... But you've not seen him... Um, you've not seen him in Ghost... Batman. You've not seen him in Ghost in the Shell. Mm. See, he could... He, he has a... He, does, he has a, a character in that that is very stoic and a badass and, you know, that, that kind of quiet fucking killer instinct but also when he becomes Bruce Wayne you know you know how Christian Bale could be the Batman and then be a totally different Bruce Wayne and it Mm. felt really different yeah he could do that as well possibly he looks good in black you know who would be oh shit who could do it if we're sticking with Game of Thrones for the moment. Jon Snow. No, no, no not Jon Snow. He can he can go suck his auntie. Jo- um, Jorah Mormont, Mormont could be Alfred. Mm. Like if, if they had a fighting Alfred. Hey, well, Alfred is military. That's yeah, his background. Yeah, um, that's what I mean. But if they actually showcased that, they could have yeah. Jorah doing that. I was thinking... Oh, shit, it's escaped me. Jamie Lannister. It's Batman. I don't know, I think he could do it. Maybe, actually. But then I'm just thinking too small. There's my problem is. There's other like, actors that aren't yeah, Game of Thrones. I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm not watching enough other stuff at the moment, so I, I kind of struggle when it comes you're, to casting. You're pretty much going to cast anyone from Game of Thrones or something like that, aren't you? Yeah, it's just going to be all there is. I think. I think uh, Ooh. What? No, 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 no. No? No, it wouldn't work. I just suddenly remembered I've watched Stranger Things this week as well, so I've got slightly more cast to choose from. Then I remembered they're all like twelve. Um, yeah. yeah. What about uh, if they're going to do Thomas Wayne? Then it has to be Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Mm, well, yeah, you said that, but <laughs> could it not be Tom Selleck? <coughs> Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck. Yeah. Hmm. Nah, he's too old now. Is he too old now? He's too old now. Ah, he's like 70 odd or something. Is he not pure still handsome as fuck though? Possibly if you're still living in the 80s, aye. Well, I am. Okay. That's why I've got a ponytail. Ah. Uh, yeah, you see. And that facial hair. Father fucker. No. Father fucker? <laughs> What's a father I said fuck? motherfucker. I said like father fucker. Nah. I'm going to listen back to that one. Where was it? Where, what time was it? 33 something. Okay. So, what do you guys think at home, guys, folks... Guys includes women. For me, guys includes women. I'll yeah. say it to a group of mixed, hey guys. Yeah, I'll say it to like just, like animals. Hey guys, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Children, same thing. anything, same thing, same yeah. difference. Um, you guys at home, do you think that the DC is super messy? Do you think that, again, anyone in the mainstream even fucking knows what messiness is going on? I don't think so, so I don't think it matters one jot. No, I think it's... People that are in the know are going to go, regardless and the I, rest of them will turn up too because it's Superman. I think the everyday person is going to start hearing these rumblings, though. There's so much of it now, they can't not hear it. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Mm. Maybe. It'd be interesting. I kind of speak to everyday people. I'll make people. sure they'll read my article. Good point. <laughs> well, I've got a very diverse client base, so I'm, I ask them stuff or tell them stuff, and they're like, really? That's happening? Oh, I didn't know that. And most of them don't even know. Oh, there these we go. things. But, and, and, and a good portion of them will go to the cinema, a good portion of them just don't go to the cinema. So. Speaking of diversity, are we looking to cover the other piece of movie news that you had? Or we could do it are quick. Are we leaving as it? 
as a, a DC podcast. A DC fashion. Okay, podcast. it really depends on how much are you dying. We could do a quickie. <laughs> We could do the dicks. We could do the we could do the cocks. <laughs> Let's do the cocks. Let's do the cocks. Yeah, right. Okay. So, what's the guy's name? Because I can't remember. Ed Screen. Ed Screen. So Ed Screen was recently cast in Hellboy, the new the new Hellboy franchise. He was, yes. Um, I don't know the character, but you'll probably tell me in a second. Maybe you won't. You'll just look at SpongeBob SquarePants <laughs> memes, whatever. Um, he was cast in Hellboy as X character. And that was all cool. And then two days later, he's like, do you know what? I'm not going to be in this film anymore because this character is, you know, half white and half not white. I think the character's Asian. Asian. Half yeah. Asian. Um, do you know what the character is? I don't know. But I, I find it quite funny that he's done this noble thing and then gone out and told the entire world what a noble act he's committed. Well, um, yes, I'm about to get to that. <laughs> so he's went, nah, I can't do this. And he's made it really, really public. Mm-hmm. He's and also made it really difficult for the next person to be cast. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Because they can't cast any other like white dude, any black dude. Well, actually, do you know what? They probably could cast a black dude, a, 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 a yellow dude. woman... A red fucking Martian, anything as long as they weren't white. Yes. And a dude. A white and dude together cannot do. And I was watching one of the shows that I watch, and I don't want to say their name because they were being total bitches about it, and they were like, yeah, I totally agree with this. I absolutely agree with this. You should stick to the source material, and this is... To do with like the fact that I bet these same people said that Tilda Swinton was fucking awesome and Doctor Strange. Well... This is. They were saying he's being forward thinking. He's being. He's thinking about the bigger picture and mean people like this to stand up. And they did bring up Tilda Swinton and mm. they said maybe he's doing it because he doesn't want to get the flack like Tilda Swinton got. And this will bring us back right back to the first episode of this podcast: mm-hmm. whitewashing and gender swapping in Hollywood. Right now, the thing I always thought was really weird about um, Doctor Strange and one of the panelists on this on the show, which I'm not going to talk about what show it is, said that. When they spoke to the director of Doctor Strange, someone's trying to explain to him how it, why it mattered that Tilda Swinton was the ancient one and not an Asian person, mm-hmm. and he was genuinely trying to understand it. But he, he was like, "Okay, so what? What, what is the deal with this?" And he was trying to understand. And she said, "That's really cool." And I'm like, "But you do know that the ancient one was an Asian old dude, and you cast a white woman, but Baron Mordo was a middle-aged white dude, and you cast." A younger than middle aged black guy. So what's the deal with that? Like in the same film, they're saying you can't be. You need to stick close to the source material, <coughs> and hit that hit that cultural references and that ethnicity, mm-hmm. but not if they're white. Yeah. So that to me means that the people on this show that I and people you all probably know what show I'm talking about because mm-hmm. I've spoken about it a whole bunch of times, but I'm not going to dive right in there and say it. Um. They're racists. And anyone that... They're being racist. I think it's more... It's uh, loose racism, but they're being racist on the other way. And that's what I've noticed. So this guy, Ed Skeen... Skeen or Screen? Ed Screen, right. Well, he was in Deadpool, and Deadpool was, for me, not great, and he was shit anyway. And he was definitely shit in Game of Thrones, and I'm glad they recast him. So I think he's a jobber as it is, in terms Mm -hmm. of the acting world. But... I also think he was trying to raise his profile by pulling this stunt, and I see it as a stunt. And the thing is, the pe- this, it's the same people that say this is a great thing he's done, and it should be a, <coughs> a half Asian, half half white dude, or an Asian dude playing it who looks kind of not super Asian, so they've hit that whatever. Mm-hmm. It's the same people that are saying that the casting for Domino is a good choice, and it being a black woman with an afro, when Domino is not only white, she's literally fucking white. She's yes. not white like as in pinkish skin or let's use the skin colour like this, the, the, the the white guy skin colour fucking tab click she's white as a fucking cloud she's white as a cloud and the whole part of it is that she's like a domino piece mm-hmm. she's her skin is white pure white with the black eye patch eye patch like, like, like a cow's markings yeah, on her face yeah but it's I kind never of like, got it but. it's kind of like she's the one like the domino with the one on it mm-hmm. you know and isn't her thing luck? Yep. So, 
it's like the one of the one and the, the nothingness. Mm-hmm. That's what I always got from it. So it's it's not even like they cast someone who was a different uh, ethnicity. They've missed the whole point that she's fucking white. White is this table. I have black dominoes set at home. It's Jack Daniels one. Ah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. But Domino the character is yeah, the colour white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's everyone just... I, it comes back to what we were saying earlier. Everyone's looking for something to complain about. And people that say that this stuff like this is okay are too scared to be called a racist for having an opinion, having this, this opinion. When this opinion is surely the only logical one. And I've, I've really thought about it. And I'm like, you've got Doctor Strange. This person needs to be Asian. It doesn't matter if this person's white. Well, what the fuck is that? That should that should contradict yourself instantly. This is what I've said before, and I'll say it again: is that as long as the words diversity, inclusion, and equality exist, the concepts will not. Absolutely, and just on a side note, folks, sidebar here, before anyone kind of thinks, "Oh, I'm like it's because I'm a white dude." Guess what? I'm half Asian, motherfucker. You've mentioned it a couple of times. Yeah, <laughs> I could play the part. I could play the part. Thanks, Ed Skeen. Woohoo! Fucking send off your audition tape. Oh my god. I should definitely do that and be like, I'm half Asian, half white, yo. Look at the size of me. My dad looks like Bruce Lee. <laughs> you ever actually know how much he looks like Bruce Lee? <laughs> no, because that's fucking racist. <laughs> Why? He does look like Bruce Lee. No, he doesn't. No, he actually does. Oh, does he actually? He actually does. Okay. Not if he, I'm not being funny. <laughs> like... I thought you were saying like because they all you know like, no like his, okay. like his his favourite one of his favourite actors was Bruce Lee when I was a kid right. and I'd see I'd have read it, there was pictures on the wall and people would come and be like why are you standing beside Bruce Lee and I'm like that's my dad Where? they'd never seen my dad before they knew right. who Bruce Lee was straight up man straight up <laughs> was, wasn't like a cheeky racist joke there. <laughs> I felt like it because I'm not racist and I'm I'm not racist because I can see the the, see when someone is wrong by casting a black woman for a character that's blatantly white. White is a fucking cloud. I just think if they've got if they're the right person for the job, then that is it. That that should be it. Well, either you do source or you don't. You know, in Doctor Strange, they bitch about someone who not being close to the source material, faithful to the source material, and then on the flip side, they don't complain about the other part of it. Where they're not faithful to the source material. And Fuck. right in the middle, you've got uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, who is spot on Doctor Strange. Yeah, you've got he's fucking perfect. The actual it. Doctor Strange. It's just uncanny. So now nah, who knows? It's, but no, I I don't think he's a massive hero for doing this. I think it's a public that this way. If he's in the Hellboy film as a he wasn't a big enough character to be in the first two Hellboy films. Let's put it that way. Hmm. Right, so if he's not in the first two, <coughs> probably means his character's reasonably minor. Mm-hmm. Right, he's read the script and gone. This is a shit part. I can get more fame by doing this, mm-hmm. and all all and throwing them under the bus. Yeah, basically, and it gives anyone that's that's hating on Hellboy because there's a lot of people that are still hating on this Hellboy. You know, mm-hmm. gives them a whole bunch of shit. It means every time, who who's your man from from Stranger Things? <laughs> Oh, what's his name? I was hoping you weren't going to ask. Ah, uh, totally I have just, to ask. I just think it's Hopper. Hopper, yeah. The guy that plays Hopper, which we're going to get the name, and um, <laughs> this is my fault for uh, not writing notes tonight. Because quite, o- quite often, if I know the names of people, it's it means I wrote David notes. David something. Yeah, I can't remember his fucking name either. Uh, anyway. David Harbour. Yeah. So, David Harbour. We hear that Ed Screen has went and left this. Do you think that blah 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 cultural appropriation, rah rah rah, rah racism, blah, blah 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 questions, not about the movie, not about Stranger Things, to monopolised? What's the crack? And he's got to go. Oh well, I think he did the uh, right thing because political correctness. I don't know. I don't want to get shouted at by anyone. I'm not I, a racist. I, I'd be I'd be sitting there going, "You've seen the movie, right? He's fucking missed out. <laughs> you just defend your product. Yeah, you know." That's and his job. If he wants, to, if he's, if, I would you've say you've seen the movie. He's missed out, but X who replaced him was fantastic and probably a better choice. Yeah, absolutely. You just fucking kick throw him, him right back under the bus, or you say, "Um, I'm." You know what? That guy obviously is getting so much work. He can choose mm. what films he and maybe not do like a massive franchise film like Hellboy. This guy's a fucking bum. Mm-hmm. This is a publicity stunt. Anyone Mass- that thinks that he's some fucking hero, 
Bullshit. It's like bullshit. Um, like Syndrome in The Incredibles. When he sets the robots on the town. I've never seen The Incredibles. He sets the robots on the city, and the plan is that he'll fly in with his tech, switch off the robots, but pretend to fight them. Okay. And then he'll be the hero. Oh, right, okay. So he's he's setting up his own Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's exactly it. Yeah, so Ed Screen shall now be called Syndrome. 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 I wonder what part he'll get next. The part of a fucking bitch boy. I don't know. What part will he get next? It'll be something like... I can't a wait. A samurai movie or... <laughs> <laughs> the Way Bruce, of the Dragons 2. <laughs> But like, yeah, this is great. I'm gonna play Bruce Lee, and I've got the best part. Oh my god, I should absolutely troll his ass. I'm gonna add him on Twitter, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna say to him, "Luckily, I'm half Asian. I'm going for your role." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honestly, pussy, I'm well, gonna hit him up tonight. <laughs> Aren't you glad that we've got that? There's a a joint team account now. Yeah, it's not to be used for such things. <laughs> I'll use my own personal one. Yep, yeah, that's fine. You do that. I will do that. That's your name attached to it. Actually, it's not. It's the Buff Geek name, but never mind. That's that's very true. Yeah. But that that's the character. That's that's the character I play, brother. <laughs> I'll do I'll do the uh, what's the word looking for here? The controversial stuff. <laughs> He's a he. He's a he. Although apparently I'm not allowed to say that. Well, because you don't listen to it. Yeah, I don't even know what it was from. I just said it because you say it. Yeah. I listen to this. I wonder how many people say it because I say it. And I've blatantly said a whole bunch of times that I've ripped it off from someone else. I give mm. full credit to Bruce Pritchard from Something to Wrestle With, who's actually doing an impression of someone else called Jim Cornette. Uh, so it's oh, like, that's why he's so defensive. Because he loves Jim Cornette. Uh, so it's like, you can't say it. Mm. Probably, people probably think that I'm, I'm being Mickey Mouse. Maybe, yeah. It's hey, kind of Pluto! Mi- <laughs> Fuck you guys! Ha <laughs> ha! What was, <laughs> what was that episode of The Simpsons when Mickey Mouse is like this evil villain? I have no idea. What is this? I don't know. I found it on your couch early, on the floor earlier and you went to throw it out the window and you missed. And did you get it that time? Um, 50-50. <laughs> anyway, I think we've uh, we've went on, we've went on our rants about yes, the world. Have. Is there anything else we fucking hate? <laughs> People not liking people not subscribing people not sharing yeah we hate that so don't we hate make that. us rant about you we know who you are yeah motherfuckers we know who you are I feel so fucking jacked up right now I want to go like work out and f- I want to fucking bench and I want to fucking fight some motherfucker <laughs> I'm going to go home grab my wife and apologise and then roll over and go to sleep <laughs> yeah yeah you are I'm going to what am I going to do I'm so I tonight. thought you said you were going to work out yeah I, I honestly feel like I want to go fucking work out and like <laughs> Totally pumped. That's that energy drink Steve gave you. Finally kicked in. Yeah, I was probably. slow on that Game of Thrones one. <laughs> That's why I start drinking before we start. Yeah, also, the thing with Game of Thrones is that I forget that I've got a really bad memory. And le- unless I know That's something... because you've got a bad memory that you forget. Yeah. Unless I know something... like I, I know things inside and out, and Game of Thrones I, I don't know. I've not watched enough times mm-hmm. to be able to just rely on my memory. Right. And it is very com- complicated for a show, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm, I, I need to do my prep before and sometimes I don't do it and I feel like I'm like, oh, and yeah, the guy with the stuff and the thing. Gendry, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> guy but, with the hammer. What the fuck is this? Some more, what the fuck is this bullshit? So we won't, this is one of Kerry's fucking vegan burger bullshit. Oh, okay. Vegans, that's another, th- I'm only joking. <laughs> we're kidding. <laughs> we're kidding, we're kidding. We're really kidding. Right, have we got any plugs to make? Um, I, do you know what, I tried going vegan. I'm, I'm not straight up. Okay. I tried it about a year and a half ago. I remember you telling me this. I tried it, and the only reason I didn't carry on with it, well, there's a couple of reasons. Like One, I was always going to have some meat, right? Because mm-hmm. I love a good piece of meat. Hey, right? But two, I can't do the vegan stuff because there's too much fibre involved. Mm-hmm. And, and then your turds float out the toilet. No, I, I, I float too. Oh, right, okay, yeah. <laughs> and the whole house was absolutely <laughs> reeking. Because the amount of protein I needed to get. So I was yeah. asking some vegans, like... So I need to hit this protein level. How do I do that? And they're like, just eat vegan. And I'm like, yeah, but, but how? Like, what, what do what do you what what protein level do you hit? Oh, I hit it. And I'm like, yeah, but answer the fucking question. What what what, what protein level do you hit? Oh, I because I'm vegan. I just it doesn't matter. And I'm like, um, but science. 
<laughs> and then they were suddenly like, oh man, you're just trying to fucking hate on us, man. And I'm like, no, no, I'm, I'm legit asking for help and I asking for a question. On, yeah. And they were just hating. So <clears throat> if there's any vegans listening who would like to help me understand some things, I'd love to talk with you. I absolutely would. I would like mm-hmm. to talk with you about that could be a how podcast. you hit your, exactly, hit your protein levels, your carbohydrate levels and your fat levels, or maybe for some reason that doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. And maybe you can explain why in a more than a it doesn't matter because I'm vegan way mm-hmm. because that's the sort of shit I was getting and then then instantly I'm like well fuck vegans because these guys are dicks and they're but, not answering your question but it's not the vegans are dicks it these guys are dicks and they happen to be vegan so it's the same as the terrorists and the Muslims and it's not the Muslims are terrorists it's some terrorists are the ones that get labelled terrorists are Muslims the ones that are terrorists but are white get labelled lone wolves and all this sort of shit and you know, people suddenly get nervous of a whole group of people based on the actions of an absolute yeah. minority. Like, not all Catholic priests are rapists, but all rapists are Catholic priests. No, that's not right. No, kid of fiddlers. I did that wrong, didn't I? Yeah, something like that, yeah. uh, Something like that. You guys know Three what priests I'm on a sinking ship. The first one says, save the children. The second one says, fuck the children. The third one says, oh, do we have time? Do we have time? And that's the dad jokes, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a dad joke. You can't tell your kids that one. <laughs> Oh, right. Well, I don't have kids, so I... Well, I'll, I'll start again. Why are bananas afraid of the sun? I don't know. In case they peel. That'll be a dad joke. Yep. Okay, I see. I understand now. Mm-hmm. Okay, isn't it good that I don't have kids? Because I'd be like, ah, this priest joke I heard, <laughs> little John. What's the best thing about fucking a transvestite, son? <laughs> well, reaching round, imagining you've burst all the way through. I've told it before. <laughs> Yes, yes, <laughs> that, that, that is was good. similar to your reaction the last time I told it on the podcast. <laughs> I <Wow>. forget things. <laughs> I forget things like names and jokes. <laughs> names and jokes. Honestly, if I ever meet you in real life, I might not know your name. I'll know your dog. I'll know a story you told me, and I'll know what you're wearing last time I met you. But if I fucking hell, am I bad with names? <laughs> Hey, you. Hey, sport. That's why you do podcasts, so you can't hear them responding. You don't have to learn the names. Ah, I'm with you now. You're down, man. You're yeah. down. Right, let's plug some shit and get out of here. Right, so the website, the Buff Geek Podcast blog, wordpress.com. You find us on soundcloud.com forward slash Buff Geek as well, or the Buff Geek as well. Something like that. Find us uh, on SoundCloud, you'll find us on iTunes, you'll find us on Podcast Public, so we've got the Android. Beyond Pod, you name it, we're probably listed. If it's using the iTunes directory system, we're listed. Yes, absolutely. abso friggin' lootly. I'd like to thank the sponsors for this podcast and every other podcast, Alpha Fitness. If you're looking to get in shape, build those guns up, maybe you want to be a better runner. Mm-hmm. Yes, because one of my guys today just passed his Navy training. So he's going into the Navy. And um, let's just say that someone was concerned that he wasn't doing enough running and he did about two or three runs for the run test, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, listen, you don't need to run. You don't need to run to be good at running one and a half miles when... What is it, 12 minutes? uh, 11, 11. 11, 11. Mm. Easy. He did it it in about 10. Mm. Um, because you can do if you do the, use the right strength training protocols, the right explosive lifts, etc., etc., etc. I'm not going to go super deep in this, so I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> Basically, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to the training. So you should sign yourself up for some Alpha Fitness, yo. Mm-hmm. Where will they find you? They'll find me at the Buff Geek Podcast blog wordpress dot com. They'll also find me on Alpha Fitness Alpha Fitness on Facebook, on the Twitter, on every social media kind of platform yeah if you can't find it there search the buff geek yeah you'll find you there's a lovely synergy between the two (laughs) you'll notice the logos are very similar (laughs) yes very similar and i used to have a proper proper website for the alpha fitness but a vegan let me down (laughs) (laughs) we love you really baz yeah we love you baz um yeah the my guy that was doing the website he basically was like, yeah, I'm not going to be doing self-employed stuff anymore. I've got a real job. And I was like, all right, cool. Here's your website, by the way. This is how you fix it. And I'm like, I don't know how to do any of this. <laughs> so that's why there's not a full working website. At the moment. At the moment. That's why you're best to find it through the Buff Geek Podcast blog. WordPress. Oh, you're getting better at reading. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that one sounded legit like I remembered it, right? <laughs> yeah, it was... It was... Well, the compliment was there. Yes, thank you. Mm-hmm. 
every one of my um, audition pieces I've read. All right, okay. I think I've read off a screen and filmed it. <laughs> he shakes his head. No, I don't think that is right. Sort of thing, no? Surprised. <laughs> <laughs> that's an old That's an old school joke. Old school joke. Right. Um, we're all over the place. We are. Let's finish. And it's getting late. Let's finish. <laughs> okay. You do your sign off. Thanks for listening, guys. You'll find me at D Stoby. You find us on Twitter at Buff Geek Podcast as well, which is, like Steve said in the last one, it's really taken off. It's damn, it has grown by over eight hundred followers in a week. That's a lot, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm no good with the numbers unless it's like five kilos, ten kilos, twenty <laughs> kilos. <laughs> I see the half of fitness jokes. Uh, you you guys get it. You guys get it. <laughs> Um, yeah, you can find him, me, us all at the Buff Geek on all social media, all media. We are everywhere. Even watching you right now. Put it away. This is not chatterbait. Hashtag the Buff Geek Podcast. Fuck you, Syndrome.